I was tired of spending money on umbrellas for my back deck, so this year I decided to install a sunshade sail from Color Tree. First things first, I need to clear off my deck. I wanted my sail to shade the majority of my deck, so I measured my space and as instructed, subtracted one foot at each corner to allow room for the hardware kits. I decided on a custom size sail, but Color Tree also offers a variety of standard shapes and sizes. Once my packages arrived, I was ready to get to work. I started by measuring for the placement of the poles. I knew I was going to use my house for two of the four anchor points needed when hanging my sail. This meant I needed to use two poles for my remaining anchor points, which would be placed just off the perimeter of the deck. My pole digger came in handy here, but you could accomplish this with just a shovel. Once both my holes were dug, and I fully assembled the grounding rod kits, I was ready to mix my concrete. This was super easy to do in a bucket, so I could pour it directly into the holes. After checking to make sure the grounding rods were level, I filled the holes and let the concrete dry for 24 hours. The next day, I secured the pole base with the provided hardware, screwed the poles together, and positioned the mounting bracket to the height I needed. I made sure the pole clamps were positioned a little lower than the anchors on my house to allow for water to run off when it rains. Now that my 12-foot poles are in place, I moved on to securing the two mounting points with pad eyes to my house. This took no time since I previously located the header and was now able to screw directly into the house. Now time to hang the sail. Color Tree offers three types of sunshade sails, standard, super ring, and waterproof, each offering their own range of benefits and various color options. Not to mention, they can also come in custom sizes to perfectly fit your space. First, I hung my waterproof sunshade sail. I used the winch hardware kit to attach the shade sail to the house. Again, this was super easy to assemble with all the pieces provided. I simply threaded the wire, created tension, hooked it to the pad eye, and ratcheted it until it was taut. Securing the other two sides of the poles was just as simple with the turnbuckles. I just hooked them to my bracket and twisted them to create tension. That was it. My waterproof sunshade sail was up. The polyethylene fabric blocks 95% of the UV rays and reduces the temperature underneath by at least 10 degrees. This is also true for Color Tree Standard and Super Ring shade sails. Although this sail looks great, I wanted to swap it out for my Super Ring sunshade sail. I took down the waterproof sail just as easy as I put it up. Swapping the sails was a cinch since I was able to use the same hardware for both. I like the Super Ring sail the best, and it is the most durable, reinforced, and heavy duty of Color Tree's shade sails meant to withstand the harshest of conditions. Living in Pennsylvania, I don't want to have to worry about taking the sail on and off during the fall and winter. Man, does this thing look great. I am thrilled with how this project turned out. The sunshade sail was easy to install and all the parts are of very high quality. The poles and hardware kits came with everything I needed with clear and easy instructions to follow. I can't wait to enjoy the rest of the year under the shade of my deck. Thanks to Color Tree for sponsoring this video. I hope this inspired you to rethink your next umbrella purchase.